Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Zolan Iron Shield. I found something very, very cool that uh, I want to sh share with you guys about uh, Lord of the Rings Online and some maps that I knew about many years ago. Like, many, I'm talking like 10 years ago, and I forgot about. So here's a nice generic map of uh, Middle Earth. I just want to share this with you real quick. If you watched my video about guessing what the next expansions are, I did use this for the Lord of the Rings Online MMO, if you're curious what I'm talking about. But I want to show you how cool these maps are. So there's actually a Google version of the map. So this is really nicely done. Full credit to this person who made it. I think he made it or he just shared it. I found it on, I think it's Reddit. Um, so I'll link this in this video. But um, this is what I want to show you. It's the Google map version of Lord of the Rings Online. It's a little cut down as the actual map size, but that's okay because it's overlaid on a digital version of Lord of the Rings map showing you a sky view of the Lord of the Rings Online MMO, okay? So this will be a real quick video. I just want to go over this real quick and show you. Um, as we know, there's a lot of regions in the Lord of the Rings Online. Here they all are. Woo, I can link this for you too, but there's, these are all different places in Lord of the Rings Online. There's a lot of them, okay? But all of these have been attached. These are the visual representation of those maps that you see in the game. So if I bring you up the game real quick here, and we go to the maps, right? So these are the maps you see in the game. But when you're actually traveling around in the, at these maps, right? So wherever you're walking, they actually have a visual look, right? When you're walking around in the world, they don't look like these drawn maps. They have their own visual graphical style, right? Well, that's what the Google map does here, okay? So the Google map allows us to see those visual places from up high, like we're in an airplane doing a Google map satellite view or a satellite, right? Um, so you gotta see the whole world from up high and exactly what areas they have and what they might add in the future Who knows right? I did my whole guessing video on what I think they might add next you can go watch that if you're curious um, But let's just go ahead and go over this real quick So I show you this I'll link this again in the description for you if you want to have fun looking through this So I'm obviously in the homestead right now the inside the mountain So I'm standing literally right there where that flag is I'm like right there Okay, not that that matters uh, where I'm right now, but um, so we have thorns hall, right? And this is Arid Lewin, this whole area here. I'm gonna just kind of drag through. Again, it kind of loads like Google Earth, right? Where it kind of like loads things over time. So that's Arid Lewin. Here's the Elven location. Here's the Elven homestead. And then you, you see that that's where it goes into the fake map. In the future, hopefully they'll add into this um, area, you know, the Grey Havens somewhere over here, right? The Grey Havens are gonna be out right out here somewhere. Um, this map is not exact, right? Because there actually wouldn't be a waterway here. That like their thing is exact, but the map that they overlaid on it, the fake drawing map, it doesn't uh, quite match up perfectly. But it's close. Um, so there is the river. You cross over into there's yonder shire that was added, right? Here's the actual shire right down here. There's the actual shire. It makes it look so small, but this game is ridiculously huge. And when you zoom in and realize actually how big this game is and how a person would be smaller than that tree, you realize how freaking huge this game is. It's one of the biggest games out there, right? This is this is actually a thing. Lord of the Rings Online is one of the biggest video games in area to walk. It is, I think, out of MMOs, it is the biggest. Um, but uh, the only games that I know beat it off the top of my head are Minecraft and uh, No Man's Sky, which are infinitely generating games in distances and planets. So kind of makes sense there. Um, there is Evendim, right? And the fortress, again, the island, one of the most beautiful areas, I love it. Um, and then if you keep going north, you can see uh, there is, <laughs> I like to call it Alaska, but it's not. This is uh, Fort Shell. It's the right of the Northern Cold area, which actually has a story of a, a king of men and two of the Palantirs being lost in this northern area. Um, that's the actual story from Tolkien. Uh, we got all over here. We have, um, it's kind of almost hard. This is Breeland. There's Bree. There is the Old Forest. There are the Barrow Downs, uh, the marshes. There's uh, Weathertop, some of the old ruins and cities. We go into northern areas here. This is the uh, North Downs, right? Connects over, there's, there's Fornost. Uh, Angmar, right? There's the Fortress of the Witch King. And here's where that big awesome raid is up there at the top. That was the original max level place at level 50. Now we're at level 140. Um, Ang uh, the Entomores, this is the PvP or a PvMP monster play zone right there. We have Rivendell right there. This is the new area they just added. They like redid all of, um, 
this is the troll shaws, excuse me, but they added a new area of the troll shaws. There's Rivendell, the little valley snuggled inside there in those caverns between the caves there. Uh, you can go up into the Misty Mountains, so this whole area is the Misty Mountains, right? That you can actually walk in. Obviously, you can't walk in this area, but the areas you can walk in of the Misty Mountains. Um, this is where they added uh, Swan Fleet and Cardolin, which are connected right in, which is a very nice connection, right? In addition to the lands, you can cross over right here into a land and go over there. And then, of course, we have down here, we have the Ed uh, Edaway, uh, I believe it's the Edawaith and... Um, different areas this is a uh, Holland right here wait, wait where's Holland somewhere here you can go into Moria right there there you go and there's the pool Holland the Edoweth is right there this goes down into Dunland right so that area of Dunland again it's such a huge game isn't it uh, there is Isengard at the end of the Misty Mountains then we have Helm's Deep right there um, Edoras right the Dunha a uh, bunch of places there's a uh, the um, Forest of the Ents <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, why can't I think of the Forest of the Ebbs? Uh, <laughs> all the different locations. Got all of that. Wow, Lothlorien, right? And then uh, Moria would be right there, but if you actually go over here, it shows Moria right here. All right, outside of it. And it's zoom in, you can kind of see Moria. All right, kind of loads up there really cool to see it though from up high it's kind of cool Fangorn right Fangorn forest that's the ants forest can't believe I couldn't think of that for a second um then we have going up along here so this is the upper part of Rohan right that they added that more wintry mountain area and then if you go north you've got um southern Mirkwood and then the middle Mirkwood and the river region with the Bjornings the Vale of Anduin and then you have Mirkwood, Northern Mirkwood, where Thranduil's realm is, the Lonely Mountain, Dale, the lake, the Iron Hills, uh, the northern area, the big glacier up here in the corner. Um, you got a bunch of cool stuff up here. Gundabad, the ancient fortress of Gundabad. And then over here, there's a little valley area, and this leads over into the top of Angmar. The way they've kind of linked it, you can kind of move there. And then up here is actually inside Gundabad. You can see it's a massive dwarven fortress. All right, um, there's that. And then of course, if you go down, you can go into, um, there's the the two statues would be right there, right? or excuse me, they're right here. The Argonoth. And then you go down into Northern Anorian, and then Gondor, Oskilionth bunch of different places here. Dolamroth over here in the islands, right? The housing area where you can have your own kinship on an island. That's fun. Uh, we might do that later, guys. We'll see. Um, and we have Mordor, of course. There's uh, Minas Morgul, Mount Doom, and all the places they've added over here, the Dead Marshes and stuff. So that's about it. But anyway, I just thought this was a really cool map, and I will link it for you to explore and have fun with it. It might help you guys get around in the game. I don't know. It might be helpful in that way. Also, this version is very nice, too. Uh, someone obviously made this. This one is, uh, it is nice. I like this one. But um, uh, it's a little harder to follow, even though you can kind of see all the main roads. And again, this is based off of Lotro's, what Lotro already has, okay? Um, it is a more recent map someone made because Gundabad is in it. Um, but what I don't see is, oh, no, Tharbad's in it. So this is the mo this is a very recent map. So this is the most recent expansion at the time of me making this video, mind you. So keep an eye on that. There might be some new expansion in Rune or something in the future is what I'm guessing. Or um, Harad or maybe more north in the Fortawaith. Or something in southern uh, uh, these areas in the Edawaith down here. We'll see. But, um, well, that's about it, my friends. That's what I want to talk about and share with you real quick on this video. You guys have a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth. Stay happy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. We're right out there. Ha ha. Uh, thanks, company, for being a royal guard and videos over there. Have a great day in Middle Earth and stay happy, my friends. Baruch Kazan. Kazan, I menu. We do everything Lord of the Rings on this channel. See ya.